are planning their day around today's solar eclipse and where they will view this event. Where are you doing yours? Your, I'll be your home. house. I'll, okay. I'll be watching. All I'll right. be home. But if you happen to find yourself out on the road, there are precautions you should take to make sure that you drive safely. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff is in the parking lot with some advice from AAA. Hey, Henry. Hey, Jim and Rahel. Yeah, I'm joined by Kathleen Miller with AAA. Kathleen, if you happen to find yourself in a vehicle during the peak of this eclipse, especially, what should you be thinking about? Okay, well, AAA wants to remind everybody that even though today is a really big day for science, it also needs to be a day for safety. So if you are driving during the eclipse, keep your headlights on. You also want to keep your sun visor down so that you're not tempted to look at the sun or the solar eclipse. Uh, you also want to put your phone down. We can't stress that enough. This is not a day for distracted driving and trying to get that photo or video. And do not wear those eclipse glasses while you're driving. That is not what they're designed for. So it sounds like people need a plan, both drivers and pedestrians, because I can see people looking at the eclipse and meandering into the street, right? Absolutely. Before you leave the house today, you need to decide where your priority is. Is it the eclipse or is it, you know, maybe an appointment you have to get to? If your top priority is to view the eclipse, stay off the road. If you know you have to be on the road during the eclipse and you really want to see it, build in some time so that you can pull off to the side of the road. You know, make sure you've got a safe place to do it. Do not pull off onto the side of the highway. Do not use a shoulder. That's, that's not a safe way to go about it. Take an exit. Build some time into your travel plan so that you can view it safely. And that segues pretty nicely into traffic. We may see some extra traffic delays during this. What should you do if you find yourself not just driving, but in traffic? Well, you know, this is human behavior. We don't know where folks are going to go today. There might be some viewing parties, so you might find some traffic. Always, always build in some extra time in your commute so that you don't end up late. We were talking before this, the, the biggest concern, and you passed or mentioned it in passing, the social media, not just watching while driving, but collecting pictures while driving. That's the biggest danger, you say, right? Absolutely. You know, AAA warns about distracted driving every day of the year. But I think today, considering everybody's going to want a photo, they're going to want video of this fantastic event, we don't want people with one hand on the wheel and one hand on their phone. That is not safe. You're risking your life, your passengers' lives, and the lives of folks that are sharing the road with you. So please put your phone down. Kathleen Miller, put your phone down. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the do's and don'ts if you find yourself in a vehicle. And remember, we were talking about those glasses last hour. Do not wear them driving. Very, very dangerous situation. Live in Philadelphia, Henry Rossoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Henry. But you know, there's going to be some knucklehead out there that decides to either take a picture or use the glasses. Well, well I would hope not. You can't see anything well, you can't. using I those mean, glasses. You can't see anything so at all. So, I can't but just imagine why. Good advice. Too. From AAA. Absolutely. Thank you, Henry. And CBS News will be broadcasting a special report today from 1 to 3. A team of correspondents will be stationed across the path of totality where the eclipse will be in full effect. You can watch the coverage on CBS 3 and also on our website at cbsphilly.com.